So I'm going to do this video, just give you a rundown of the pipe sets available that I use that I like. Um, both of these are great systems. This is new for Maine for this year, and the only reason why it's new for Maine for this year is because previously um, the one that was made was made with a 7-inch trigger, which wouldn't be legal in Maine, so Mike and Marine worked on uh, getting one built with a 12-inch trigger. This is the Big Sky pipe set. This is, uh, this operates off a thrower, similar to what Aldrich would do. Just pipe around, cable around the pipe, tighten it snug, and then instead of having a pull-up trigger, it's got a push-down trigger, which I will not do it with hand my hand because safety's on for one, and for two, too much stuff can Pretty stout. So you got a regular non-spring loaded cable restraint, swivel, and that's the swivel that comes on when you buy something generally from Select Cat. Those work good. I like this lock. Uh, it's real short at a 90 degree angle. Works very well. That's a very good point on that. These come pre-set for two and a half inch loops, so you can make them a little larger if you want. I'm going to do a section here of how I set mine when I get to it here. So there's that. Here's the components. This is the swivel, the pipe, with a sl uh, slit in the side of it. So a lot of your trigger to be 12 inches. The um, thing to remember with this is you measure, when you set your thrower beside the pipe, you measure the depth of where the trigger is and make sure that it's at least 12 inches. Now the way that's set right now is about 12 inches so you actually have the thrower down a little bit below the ground. Uh, you got nails or spikes that hold this down and then you got this little piece here that just keeps debris from getting into the back of the thrower so that the arm thrower arm can go back. I'm excited about this set. This is new for this year for Maine. Um, Excited to see how it works. They have a little giveaway going right now. The first one uh, they are taking with, with one of these sets in Maine this year. The person who takes it will win a Select Catch 1000, which I did a video on them before. Uh, like I said, this is a swivel generally that you'll find over the, over the Select Catch. When I use an Aldrich, I like to use Select Catch's swivels for Aldrich because this, uh, when you Get them from the snare shop or, or wherever and get this lock. But I'm not a huge fan of that lock, uh, just personal preference. But this also is set for two and a half inches because that's actually, I think that one might be set a little small because that's from from uh, the snare shop. And then you got the adjustable swivel, removable, as Steve pointed out in the group of four. Always have a pair of pliers and a piece of wire and wire those and tighten it with the pliers. Give it a snug and stick a piece of wire through and around. These these will loosen up. Never had one get away for that, but they will definitely loosen up. There's a nail long enough. So there's the Aldrich style snare. Now Here's the critter done. This has been around for years. This has caught countless bear. This is a substantial item. It's pretty heavy. You don't want to carry them around for miles. But, um, this is going to require a little bit bigger of a hole to, to dig. You got to dig a little bit deeper, which in most cases is never an issue. Um, but generally, the this, this one had a push down trigger. This, and we'll have to do this one with a pull up trigger. There it is. Simple as that. Now they make a. There's a plastic one of these going around that has slits in the side of it, and it works. Um, the only mistake I see people making with them is they'll take all the trigger mechanism out and put that pipe in the ground and 
uses is a dummy pipe. Now that's not legal. A dummy pipe has to be a true dummy pipe. It can't have, because you can't use any piece of this prior to the season to train bear. So you can't use that pipe for slide catch. You can't use this. You can't use something with the slits already in it. It has to be a true dummy pipe. You can't place any of this system in the ground before September 1st in May. So if you're going to use a dummy pipe, use a true dummy pipe. Just a piece of six inch pipe. Cut to the length that you want. Cut off the top. You use that to train your bear. Put your rock over it. Put your bathing inside of it. And do whatever you need to do to, to get the bear trained and get it in. But that's the old tried and true. That's called countless bear. Great system. This one's caught bear. I got a new one the other day. When I went to the meet. Got uh, a lock here, so this is your spring has no tension on it right now. You can set your loop. You got a sliding thing here. You choose the size of your loop. You got to be a minimum of two and a half inches, but some people run larger than that. And then you just set it to the size you need. You can take a hammer and crush that, and that'll stay in the loop size that you want. Universal swivel, heavy duty, real nice. You got an adjustable cable lock. Say you you do this and you set your loop size, and then you decide you want the loop a little bit bigger. You don't want to cut this off. You can either use this to make your loop size larger, or you can use it because you got another crush swivel here, or crush collar here to put the tension on your cable on your spring. You want to make it a little tighter. Always use these. It's really good. These come with earth anchors so that you can drive them into the ground. The pipe, drive it into the ground on two points so that the bear does dig it up. It's not going to lug it off. Bag. These are great. Uh, don't hold bait, sweets, goodies, num nums. Get down inside the pipe. Underneath. Oh, there we go. Way down. Quick. Down in here. Everything has to be underneath the trigger. And it comes with a couple zip ties. You zip tie that in there so that they reach down in. Grab that bait bag and pull it up, and you have a bear in the snare. Pretty simple. These work excellent. I suspect those are going to work excellent. Um, I'm going to do another little section here in a minute about how to set your cable size, the easiest way to set your loop, and the run by preference. Aside from that, good luck. Here's your snare for the critter dump. That could walk. That walk works great. I like it. So when you go to set these, it actually says in the state rule book to use a Pepsi can on a soda box. You have a soda can. Close it. Let it close around that can without denting it. You're going to use a full one. Then take that and crush your collar. To that size. And that's going to give you a two and a half inch loop. Now when I set these, I don't like using two and a half inch loops because I've found that a little bit bigger loop will allow a non-target bear to get out. And it works works great and rather than find a piece of pipe or find whatever the easiest thing you can find is one of these 24 ounce cans it doesn't have to be twisted to be anything but you do the same thing close that around that mark the loop 
that gives you, depending on whether these, some of these are fatter than others, but that gives you around a three inch, two and three quarters, three and a quarter, depending on which can you get. But we've used this for years, that size of can, crushing it to that loop, and we've had a half a dozen non-target bear be able to pull out of these as we would like, rather than have to deal with not having to you know, harvest a bear that we, we weren't targeting. Because we do everything we can do to only set on target sets, target bear, but as soon as you set something, sometimes those little ones will come in. So that's just a general rule of thumb. You can go bigger. Um, you get up around four inches, you're, you're, everything's going to step out of it. Unless you find a huge, huge bear. But two and three quarter, three and a quarter, that's pretty much the ideal. I always just use a twisted tea can. They work good. So, yeah, that's how I set my loops. <laughs> and a big thank you for my daughter, Lexi, for being the camera woman on this job. Could have done it without you. Great job. Thanks. You gonna do it again? Yeah. Yeah? You're gonna shake the camera like I do? Sure. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs>